So for today's topic, I'll be discussing about our plant-based skin whitening agents. welcome back to my channel it's been a while i'm so sorry i've not been uh, consistent lately i've not been uploading how because i'm undergoing a training currently based on microblading yes i actually did my own microblading on saturday um let me show you guys so guys can you see this so here is my microblading and currently it is healing yes it's healing currently after a month or six i'll be going back for touch up so i am learning how to do this currently so soon guys your girl is gonna be a pro on this and i can't wait for you guys to start patronizing me you know wow i am loving this like seriously i did not even just put any brow so this one is actually a combo brow yeah this one is microblading plus micro shading at the same time like i am working on a big project right now and soon it's gonna be done like oh my you know <laughs> it's gonna be done and i can't wait for you guys my lovely subscribers be to start patronizing your girl okay so going back to today's topic yes 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 i have an important topic to discuss today we are starting a series and the topic of that series is skin whitening agent in cosmetics so i believe that everybody needs this video right now whether you are a skincare formulator or whether you have a mixology or whether you're still based or you're still stuck to doing pro mixing or whether you have flip you have passion for skincare you're still planning to go into skincare or you're planning to start you know up a skincare business this video is for you you need this video or whether you're already a pro you need this video like everybody is still learning guys even i myself i am still learning i read every day i read every day i do my research every day so yes 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 today we are starting our skin whitening agent cereal so this topic is basically for you to know all about your skin whitening um ingredients now when it comes to making cosmetics so many people don't know how to make good use of it during their formulation and this is why you really need to enroll for a skincare training fine on my channel i drop recipe i drop good recipe but there are some things you still need to know behind formulation like there's a whole lot of things you still need to do you still need to know like mastering your powder knowing how your powders work knowing how your powder can work knowing how to use your powder and of which i cannot come here now and start you know talking about a powder for like three hours man i know you will you will be bored definitely you will be but most of you will just come after i've talked for like four minutes you just check out but you know when you come for the class when you pay for something you will definitely want to get all the benefit for what you paid for you know but you know when someone is giving you something now for free <laughs> you will just do you know you won't even waste time you'll be thinking about your data like well let me skip jerry <laughs> this person is talking too much and my data is wasting so in skincare formulation there are some basic things you need to know and that is why i do encourage that is good you enroll for skincare training so that you'll be able to know how to use most of your whitening powders because these powders are what matters in your formulation if you don't use them well then you're not gonna get the results you want so for today's topic i'll be discussing about our plant-based skin whitening agents and i have five whitening powders i want to talk about today on this platform so guys are you ready grab anything you can chew and enjoy me give you break everything down for you okay so the number one powder on my list right now is my alpha arbutin powder alpha arbutin is a biosynthetic and a functional active lightening or whitening powder in skincare 
its source is from beer berry my advice is that instead of choosing hydroquinone advise that you should choose alpha abutin because alpha abutin number one is more natural than um hydroquinone hydroquinone is purely a synthetic ingredient alpha abutin is purely extracted from beer berry like i've said before and alpha abutin is very very good for skin whitening skin lightening very good for fading off hyperpigmentation now when it comes to using alpha abutin how well do you know how to use your alpha abutin do you just carry your alpha abutin and pour into your formulation do you just carry your alpha abutin and pour into hot lotion without even knowing the do's and don'ts behind those whitening powders now let me tell you something you may not know most of you may know this but i'm very sure most of you out there don't know this now when it comes to ph level in skincare products ph level determines whether your skincare product will work or not if you don't know how to take uh the ph level of your skincare product please do ensure to know how to do that as long as you're selling lotion as as long as you're making lotion for people you're selling lotion out there you have to know whether you're producing acidic lotion or you're producing alkaline lotion and of which those two yes can be so disastrous on your client's skin now when it comes to working with alpha abutin of course we know that you have to check the stability of your um lotion when you finish formulating with alpha abutin because alpha abutin is stable in the ph level of 3.5 to 6 yes so now just imagine when you make um a lotion and your lotion is um uh, the ph level of your lotion is 2.5 the ph level of your lotion is 2 do you think your alpha abutin will work no you just wasted that gold because i call my own alpha abutin gold because it's this powder is very very expensive so you've just wasted the powder it will not work except you balance the ph level within 3.5 to 6 of which that is the only way your alpha abutin can be active in your lotion and again you have to know your powders you have to know if the powder you're working with is water soluble or oil soluble we have so many powders that does not dissolve in water then we have powders that does not dissolve in oil now alpha abutin is water soluble so do not go and pour alpha abutin into your oil because you're just wasting it your for, uh, formulation your alpha abutin have to go in line with your water phase i hope you understand when you're making your cream during your water phase that is when your alpha abutin coming so that is it for alpha abutin what are the benefits of alpha abutin skin lightening powder number one alpha abutin lightens up the skin or whitens up the skin and it evens out your skin tone number two it minimizes the appearance of age spots liver spot whatever spot you're suffering from alpha abutin helps in minimizing the appearance of any form of spots you're suffering from you know as we age we tend to have some age spots <laughs> recently i noticed i'm beginning to have um, um a little of uh you know some sign of age spots well as at last year i don't have that maybe it's old age i'm not yet old though, but <laughs> we are all getting old day by day so alpha abutin helps in any form of spot and then you will see visible results with alpha abutin powder from four to six weeks so i used to wonder most of this skincare from later that will come and they will make cream and they will say the cream will whiten uh, their client's skin in seven days men run for your life because that cream in fact I don't know if it is hypo or bleaching air dye that they put inside the inside the cream. Because believe me, if you someone is telling you that she's selling a cream for you and it's whiten you up in seven days, run for your life. That means there's something in that cream that is not safe. There's something in that cream that can kill you. Believe me. So alpha abutin, when you formulate with alpha abutin, you tend to see result from four to six weeks. In some people, they see result from um four to eight weeks now it depends on skin tone it depends on body yes it depends on um how dark or how fair that person is before that person started using uh, alpha abutin yes um before i trans well, what will i call it <laughs> before i transitioned into using 
plant-based skincare products i i used to use promix uh pro mixing products and i was fairer than this but when i switched to plant-based product i got darker in complexion but now my skin is beginning to pick up yes i noticed my skin is beginning to pick up so we will say that natural skincare does not work it's a lie it works just give it a little time just give it like two months let your skin adjust your skin got to adjust because you're introducing your skin to something else that your skin is not used to you've been feeding your skin with chemicals now you're introducing your skin to something a product that is organic that is natural based you, you you get so your skin will also need to adjust you have to give your skin some time to adapt to adjust once your skin have adjusted your skin will pick up forget it natural plant-based product works so who says that natural plant-based uh, does not work most of you will just come to my channel and start say you know uh it's promising that work natural uh, natural does not work organic does who told you who told you get the right powder get the right ingredient and you you will see your formulation working for you i use my formulation you know why i use my product i use my product because i want to know if my product is working most skincare therapies outside there they don't use their products how will you call yourself a skincare therapist and you don't even use your lotion does it even make sense how will you know that what you're producing is even good okay now if someone should buy my skincare product and call me and tell me that oh madam your skincare product gave me stretch mark I am ready to drag it with you to any length that is a lie it is not my products because i'm using my products i am sure of what is in my products so why would my product give you stretch mark when i know what i use in formulating my products when i am using the same product and is regulating is minimizing my own stretch mark so why would you come and tell me that my own product is giving you stretch mark if you tell me now that okay oh, uh, you got dark a little bit or because you've been you've been using bleaching cream you've been using promixing i use my product then you got dark a little bit for like one week i will say yes so that is natural for you you have to let your skin adapt i will not argue but it's not when you use my cream you now tell me that my cream gave you stretch mark is a lie we will drag it to any level. so the number two plant-based skin whitening agent on my list is sepi white yes sepi white is a powerful and effective skin whitening agents when you're formulating with this lotion please make sure you dissolve with oil because it is an oil soluble powder so selfie white lightens the skin effectively and it lightens up dark area so um if you want to make dark area cream you want to make uh, intensive whitening cream yes had your sepi white powder to read and you will see a visible result with consistency from two to six weeks believe me <laughs> it even worked faster than alpha abutin faster than alpha abutin two to six weeks but you have to be consistent it's not like you use uh once in two days once in a day when you're using product that contains lightning um skin agents um, I recommend you apply those cream twice daily. That is why you see every skincare brand they will write apply twice daily. Apply twice daily. Yeah. Not because they are trying to sell their cream, but because they want you to see the value of what you're buying. They want you to use it in a way that you will see results. They are prescribing that product out to you because they are the one that formulated that cream, by the way. They are the one that knows what and what they use in making that cream. So when you buy my skincare product and I say use it twice a day, use it twice a day. If I say use it 10 times a day, use it 10 times a day <laughs> don't mind me don't go and use it 10 times a day oh that means you'll be buying my skincare product every day <laughs> you have to be consistent on it uh, and you see visible result from two to six weeks so as you know as long as you keep on using it you it will be giving you that whitening 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 effect until you feel like oh you are okay you don't want to lighten or whiten up again so and it is stable yeah when we talk about uh product being stable in your lotion when we talk about um skin lightening agent being stable in your lotion what i mean is that there are some lotion when you make them today just give them one week they will change color 
probably you formulated a lotion and you came out with a white beautiful color and in the next one week you now find out that your lotion has gone brown or gone yellowish you know your lotion is looking like a color yellow yes so that means that lotion has lost its stability that means the well skin whitening in ingredient you use um wearing stable Take for an instance, when you formulate a skin whitening lotion with kojic acid, I am not talking of kojic depalmitate, kojic acid. Your kojic acid oxidizes in just two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. It's even possible for it to oxidize before two weeks, depending on how you were able to keep it safe, like store it. If you did not put it in an airtight container or you exposed it to sunlight, before two weeks, it will change color, it will oxidize. That means it's no longer effective. So, your kojic acid, whenever you formulate a lotion with it, believe me, after two weeks, go check your lotion, your lotion would have oxidized, like it would have changed color. Yeah, so that is why when you're formulating with kojic acid, you have to use antioxidant like when i mean you are there, there have to be enough antioxidant in that formulation if not <laughs> it will be something else the kojic acid will lose effectiveness that is why it is advisable to use the ester of kojic acid which is kojic depalmitate kojic depalmitate is stable in your lotion so sepi white ph stability is ph level four to seven so that means if you're formulating your lotion you have to balance the final ph level of your product um has to be four to seven you get so that your sepi white will be effective what i do when i'm working with my sepi white is that i dissolve in my oil face like i incorporate it into my oil face so that it will dissolve properly before i get to my water face stage so that is how i use my sepi white so if you want it to melt properly the heat temperature during melting has to be 80 oc slash or or 176 of now when it comes to of and oc please do not get confused oc mean celsius 80 degree celsius 176 of mean 176 degree fahrenheit yes go and do your research on that so that i will not break my teeth that fahrenheit fahrenheit can break can actually pull off your teeth away <laughs> so that is it for sepi white it is stable it is a good skin lightning uh, you have to uh, uh, work with it in a way that you are come up with a final pH level of uh, 4 to 7 and uh, you have to be careful with the temperature at which you you're dissolving it hot and it is very very good it's a, it's a fast skin whitening um, products sorry powder but you have to be consistent in usage when using it so that is it for separate and this bring me to our number three which is kojic depalmitate like i said kojic dip is oil soluble do not go and dissolve in water because you will just waste your kojic dip kojic acid is water soluble kojic dip is the ester is a sister to kojic acid now kojic acid when you're working with kojic acid is so sens sensitive yeah very very sensitive kojic acid cannot stand heat kojic dip can stand heat I hope you get kojic acid oxidizes on time kojic dip is stable in lotion even when you use it to formulate your lotion your lotion will stay one year two years it will not spoil it will not change color that is kojic dip for you but kojic acid oh my god just give it two weeks your kojic acid has changed color oh i love using kojic dip in my facial cream because it helps in a disappearing or uh it helps in diminishing the appearance of age spots that is kojic depalmitate for you well if you go to the market go don't go and say kojic depalmitate because most of those sellers they don't know it as kojic depalmitate don't they know it as kojic deep kojic deep <laughs> so that is what most of them knows it as so like i said it is oil soluble and the melting point is 92 to 95 degree celsius so that's when you're melting it the temperature that can melt it is 92 to 95 celsius and the ph stability is 4 to 9 that means you can use this 
Kojik deep in soap. I'm giving you a spoon. Don't worry, we're gonna be talking about the skin lightening agent you can actually incorporate in your soap because so many people have been wasting their powder. I see when some people, you know, pour abutin into their soap and glutathione. Men, you guys have money for you to be having such expensive powders that will not even work because their pH level does not even tally with the pH level of soap. You will not pour it inside your um, wash off products. Oh my god, you are wasting your powder, but we will still get that because I'll be making a series. This is actually a series video, so we're gonna cover so many parts, so many season sections in this video. So that is it for Kojik Deep. Kojik Deep is mwah, I love using Kojik Deep, it's so stable. I love using it in my lotion, in my face cream. It's very good when you want to treat sunburn. Kojik Deep is very good. So that brings me to my number the four skin whitening powder or agents number four is sim white powder sim white powder oh my god i love that powder but it is very very expensive when i mean expensive hey it is very very expensive so um sim white powder is is an effective uh skin lightening um powder that's is very good for your lotion your formulation and it is derived or let me say the source is gotten from pine pine tree p-i-n-e pine tree so you can see this powder is is natural yes all these powders i'm mentioning they are natural they are being derived from plants from fruits they are natural so they cannot harm your skin so sim white powder is a good lightening or whitening powder now for the fact i mentioned all oh, this powder does not mean you should go and carry the all of these powders and pour into your lotion because they are too much for you for your lotion you know you're good to go with one two or three of them you're good to go then you can just add in some treatment powders you know adding some um anti-stretch mark powders <laughs> you will not understand i'm not talking of pro mix you know when it comes to organic skincare, natural skincare formulations, we have those powders that stand or serve the purpose of treatment powders like your anti-reaction. That we also have the powders that serve for the purpose of anti-green vein and anti-stretch marks. So, <laughs> so, so that's for sim white powder. Sim white powder is oil soluble, like I said, and sim white powder is actually good for making glow oil. I'm giving you a secret now. Most people, when they make their glow oil, you see, yeah, whitening oil, lightening oil, this and that. Sim white powder is in that oil because sim white powder is of great skin lightener, skin whitener, and it's like I said, it's dissolved in oil, so it can stay, it can live inside your body oil, it can stay there, and it will give you the effective results you want to use it for so that takes me to my number five now my number five skin lightening or skin whitening agents is <sighs> so guys sorry guys yeah i was tasty the last powder i'm gonna be talking about is our glutathione skin whitening powder this glutathione is actually the house of antioxidants it whitens your skin and at the same time it helps in getting rid of those free radicals dump that can cause um sunburn that can give you uh cause melasma that can cause your skin hyperpigmentation because of the antioxidants packed in glutathione glutathione will not let those free radicals effect cause hyperpigmentation on your skin or give you a uh, malesma or sunburn on your skin that is why uh, so many people they are on our glutathione injection so many people are on glutathione pills and really it's working though it takes time and it's quite expensive but it works believe me if you're on glutathione you cannot have hyperpigmentation because it's just um it's just as if every day there is something in you that is fighting the sun rays fighting whatever um damages that want to come to your skin yes that is how it is exactly that is how it is so glutathione is water soluble glutathione also is good for skin whitening you want to formulate a skin whitening lotion Adding your glutathione, 
hiding your um, alpha butene hiding don't worry we're, go we're gonna be talking about skin whitening agents combination for making lotion for making whitening lotion so like I said I have so many season or parts to discuss uh, based on each topic on plant-based skin whitening agents so just follow me on each of those series follow me on each of the uh, season videos i'll be dropping based on this topic so we'll be talking about a whole lot of things because this uh topic is quite intensive it's it's quite deep it's wild you know it's wild a whole lot of things for you to know you have to study your powder for you to know how to work with them you have to study them. you don't just pick it up and use them they will not work so glutathione is water soluble Glutathione, you have to arrive at the pH level of uh, 3 to 6 also. Um, you don't go and pour glutathione in your oil. It will not work. Maybe you're making glow or you know, you go and pour glutathione into your oil. It will not work. So do not waste your glutathione because it is gold. It's very, very expensive. So glutathione is composed of an ammonium amino acid. Yes, amino acid. And it's contains glutamine most time you buy some lotion you see when they write glutamine it also contains cysteine and glycine i don't mean glycerin glycine so these three components i've mentioned now that have been found in glutathione is the house or powerhouse of antioxidants when i mean powerhouse of antioxidants when you're using um this uh glutathione you're using a lotion that contains glutathione you don't hate your time it's, it helps in fighting anti wrinkles and aging you know because it's packed with powerful antioxidants and it's very very effective in skin whitening believe me it's very very effective glutathione is 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 very safe yeah is is the safest skin whitening um powder i know or skin whitening agents whether you're taking it in pill through vi that is injection or any means you're uh, getting it through into your body or your skin it's still considered as one of the safest skin whitening powder to use without any side effects though everything in this life has its own side effects because they used to say too much of everything is bad <laughs> so that is it for glutathione so like i said when you're using glutathione you don't get hyperpigmented you don't get sunburn you don't get melasma because you know the the component in glutathione helps in uh, pulling out those bad toxins like pulls it out of your skin so you don't get the skin issue at all so guys Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new on my channel and you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because a whole lot of um, series is going to come up based on natural plant-based skin whitening agents. We still have a whole lot of things to discuss. So on my next video, we will be discussing about the skin whitening um, agents that you can uh, combine together and make a powerful whitening lotion. The third one, we will be talking about the skin whitening agents you can um, use in formulating your soap. And we will also be discussing about those unnecessary skin whitening agents you've been wasting, adding them or you've been wasting by adding them into your soap because they will end up not working because of the pH level difference in soap and in lotion. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you very much for your support, your love. I really appreciate it. And if you like and you love this video, kindly share it out on Facebook community, Instagram community. Share it to anybody, your friend, all skincare from later. Anybody you feel that they will need it, share it out to them. And above all, do not forget to subscribe and always view my video. And always watch the advert to the end. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye.